a long time in the making. We've been doing tunes for, I don't know, 12, 12 years or something? 2007 was the first one. Yeah, and then one day we found Ellie under a tree. And then we thought he was not alive, but then he was alive. <laughs> then we created the tree of life. <laughs> well, obviously, uh, growing up in Israel in the trans scene, I, I know them as GMS, but not personally. After I started to make music and start to go around, I think we met in Brazil through Gabi Record Machines. Yeah, that's where we met the first two. Yeah. And we did the... Uh, what was it? A-Team yeah, was the first team. Yeah, the track. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, and ever since then we've been kind of friends and always kind of been making music together, but um, this time we wanted to be more serious and kind of really make, create a project together with, you know, with, with a whole album and a concept behind it and a kind of a whole theme and stuff like that. So we kind of got together, made some time in the studio and then got together and... Uh, it just came together and yeah, just started flowing started and flowing. The of life, basically. Yeah. Now we have what, 19 tracks. Yeah, <laughs> that it was a go for. We can make an EP, see what's going on. Yeah, and first time already we came up with four tracks like in Oops. <laughs> ten days. So we figure out something good is going on there, and we should forward push it, it, push it, push it hard. That's what we did. That's what she said. Oh, we don't want to say too much because it's a surprise. It's a world premiere today, so we don't want to kind of say too much to the audience. <laughs> We're going to leave that for the audience to decide tonight. I mean, <laughs> they should be happy that this is the first time that we're going to actually play all the tracks together and be on stage together. The only thing I can say is, is I'm premiere. very excited to do it. Oh. I'm going to give you a hint. We're going to kick your ass. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just did two EPs now, and now basically we're focusing on the, releasing the album, getting it out, you know, finding the artwork and stuff, which is always harder than making the actual music. And... Um, yeah, that's basically the plan. Yeah, one, once we get the artwork, the album is done. <laughs> uh, the EP will come out, I think, Monday, this Monday. Yeah, and then just to do more gigs around the world and stuff like that, you know, more traveling and uh, more gigs. Yeah, I mean, also, I mean, for us, it's, it's we don't really think of it in that way. We think of it more as fun and having a good time and coming together musically as artists, basically. Yeah. That's what's for us the challenge, and that's what's for us makes us feel good as uh, as artists. Is coming together and doing something new and creating something new when everyone has their role and doing that it sounds different than if I would me and Bunzi would do it alone or if Ellie would do it alone you know it's just kind of coming together and creating a sound that where everyone is really happy with and that we're very excited about that's basically the main thing for us you know yeah. we don't think of it in terms of oh we're gonna make a mega band or something like that it's gonna be the best project we kind of look at it more from an artist perspective and see kind of what we can create and be creative and you know how to put that uh, in work what is that? Yeah, i just can't wait for the people to hear it <laughs> it's a night <laughs> we work right. most in the night times like vampires ah, then then you have more, more opportunity to work because in the daytime the telephone goes people come by you know. in the nighttime there's no disturbance and you can focus and do your thing yes well i mean a typical night is first you have to go out and buy enough drinks for the whole night Make sure your stash is big yeah. enough, and then you basically start to work. Wake up, watch the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. slowly, slowly, you know. I mean, because we each have our own projects also, but uh, yeah, we're trying to incorporate those with our first, because we play many parties the same anyway, so uh, Tree of Life will definitely start playing a lot more. Yeah. We're, we're planning a Brazil tour now at the moment, and uh, I think Australia is on the making. Um, but it's a very new project. Obviously, everybody knows our individual projects, but uh, they haven't heard the, except for the EPs, they haven't heard the music yet. Yeah. So I believe once the album will come out, that, that the big uh, exposure the big bang will, will follow happen. it. Exactly. Yeah. Because Omega is a good option, I think. He was the one that kind of fought for it the most. The it was and he's a good friend of all of us, so it was, it was nice. Uh, it was not even a thought. It was a natural way. It was to a do natural, it. Dis natural decision. Just yeah, yeah, of course. You know, it's not even. Well, oh, where are we going to release it? No, no, no. Music. We have the place. This is the. This is where it's going to go. Musically, it fits obviously because it's, it's not progressive project. Exactly. Definitely not. It's chance and with a lot of psychedelic roots mm. and um, 
it felt the the right place to be. Yeah, it, was, right. it wasn't really a, a a decision to make. <laughs> it just felt the way. yeah natural. No, we no. will kind of start the live and make a story in the live. Basically, start yeah. a little bit slower and then kind a of big go wave up and go up. Yeah, I mean it's not really progressive. It's just a slower BPM, but the tracks are still pretty full power. So yeah, exactly. It will fit in one show. You know, it's just we'll start a bit slower and then speed it up. It's not that it's they, they just tell the full power tracks apart. That's the idea. Yeah. If you if you play like three, four uh, tracks in that are strong in the arrangement and the production and busy sounds sounding, then it's nice to put a little clean one in between to breathe for a second. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I mean, anyway, yeah. I don't think the live set should just be one kind of thing. You know, it's nice to yeah. create a story with a live show, and that's what we're trying to do. Basically. No, I mean, we kind of think about like, oh, maybe we need the track that's a little bit like this, or maybe we need a track that's more full on like that, or maybe we need one that's, you know, more like that. We kind of go on thinking as we as we make it, basically. But the tracks kind of created themselves somehow. We, I mean, we start with something, obviously, so we try to create something that fits together. Each one makes his, his own sounds and his own computer. But we, f we aim to one point that they will Play, uh, play nice with each other, yeah. But um, there wasn't like a, a list that said, okay, we need one of those, check, one of these, check. And it just came out together, basically. So, um, each track has its own... Its own character and its own... Yeah. There is always a possibility to create something new. I mean, you just have to be creative. The thing is now there's so many artists and stuff, and a lot of people are copying one, one you know copying from the other vibes and that we don't we never really try to do that we just try to start from completely scratch from fresh you know and then just uh, create its own vibe i mean i think anyone can do that if they really put their uh, their heart into it yeah and energy they I could could creativity in, in none place. of the tracks that we did there was another track there in the arrangement God, to yeah. none. this happens a lot <laughs> yeah and um the thing is that we are three people so uh it sounds different because we bring three different uh, heads into the same thing, you know? Some some track, for example, Rictum started and then we finished, so we had his, his, uh, his character in the root of the tracks, some which of I started, some of Bunny started. So each one of them already has his different foundation, yeah? And that's already gave us the uh, variety in, in the color of our sound. Another thing that I want to point out, it might sound fresh, but it actually, because it goes back. Yeah. It has retro stuff. Yeah. It's sort of a retro perspective in uh, modern production. Yeah, done in a new way, basically. Yeah. But, yeah. Retro, retro has always been the thing that people want the most. If you look what people go crazy for on the dance floor, it's their old school sounds. Mm -hmm. I agree. Th that's, that, that's what started the whole story. And uh, it will always come back and go, come back and go. But if something has roots, it has future. Yep. I'm gonna kick your ass. We're not gonna say much, <laughs> we're just gonna fucking let you hear the music and let you see you rock. <laughs> that's <laughs> right. That's what we have to say. We're gonna let the music talk for itself. And then yeah. uh, we worked hard on that and we are very excited. Yeah, to, very, to very excited. Put it everything together at one point. Finally, be able to. Play it for the people.